Hello guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5. It's Kalza here with some more of the playthrough and we are getting to go in... Oh, hello. C4 gun. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so we are getting to go to Africa now. Yeah, cue the Toto Africa song here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. As you can see, D-Dog, I don't know if you've really seen him yet. You probably, probably have actually. Yeah, D-Dog, he's all happy, panting away. He's, yep. You happy boy? Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool little eye patch and everything. And well, I've done a few upgrades. As you can see, my arm is now gold as well. Solid gold plate. And Snake's having a bit of uh, trouble with his injections, but he's getting around them. Uh, we've pretty much finished at Ka uh, Kazakhstan. No, uh, Afghanistan. Uh, there is no more side ops that I can do in here. As you can see. I've done all of them that I can. There is a f they they do pop up again just for make you to do something, but they're all Please done in my head. So we're heading off to Africa now, and in this mission, I do need to get this transportation specialist dude, who's around this area somewhere. And also this blueprint will be cool, but this one's gonna I think it's gonna be a pretty easy mission because mostly because it's the first one in a new area, so it'll like ease you in a bit. So, we're just going to go ahead and do it. We're going to bring D-Dog with a high grade version of the weapons. Oh yeah, I've upgraded a hell of a ton of weapons. And as you can see, I finally unlocked this, the tranquilizing sniper now, which I do actually want to use. Secondary weapon. I've got the level 3 version of our, our tranquilizer now. Which is all good. Panic arm still gold. Support weapons, we've got a hell turn over. We can now call in air support with our helicopter and he kills everyone. We've got supplies. C4's been upgraded. Everything else is the same. We've got stun grenades as well, which are good. Uh, that's never changed. Tools have never changed. And yeah. Buddy. Still got D horse and D dog. We have had the option in the future to get quiet as a buddy, but she's not been allowed out of the brig yet. And yeah, let's do this. Oh yeah, and the little insignia has changed. I thought I'd go for a Wales-ish look, -ish, Wales -ish look. A Welsh look. That's the word I'm looking for there. So, yeah. Oh, and the helicopter's changed as well. But that's not important. Let's just go. Let's go to Africa. Episode 13, Pitch Dark. Normally we say pitch black, but it must be an American thing. Angola. Central Africa. Wow. Came from Intel. The target is Angola's Mfinda oil field, upstream from the landing point. A spill has covered the whole area and crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Ugh. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. Ugh. This is worse than the BP incident, or it's like a pre BP incident because it's set in the 80s. Here we go then. I don't know why I've got desert camouflage. This isn't a desert. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this yeah. time is an environmental NGO. Destroy yeah. the facility. Stop that leak. Okay. This may seem like straight up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. Uh -huh. The Mathinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. <gasps> then the rebel group United moved in. <gasps> taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. Did they start up a kickstart program? Modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them US military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings. Alright, so we're in a bit of a seek and destroy mission for this mission. This place looks pretty cool as well. Despite the oil spill, of course. Um, that's the major setback for this whole place. God, it's literally like the Mexico Gulf. Um, yes, yeah, so we're getting landed here, and we'll be heading on through. Oh, little! This literally is like a Vietnam mission from Black Ops. That's step one to tracking down Skullface and Cipher with him. Good luck, boss. First, make your way to the oil facility. Go on, D-Dog. Past Buala Yamasa. The village is currently occupied by Unida, so stay sharp. D-Dog, don't drink any of this water, alright? The 
Okay, I will drink in it. This is not bad. No other options. Soldiers have become dogs of war. Sent to conflict zones as private forces. Ooh. Or PFs. Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold Good. War standoffs, resource exploitation, tribal clashes. What's big business for developed countries has only brought conflict here. That mess you're standing in is just the latest example. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Okay. I'm just sneaking mode now. I love D Dog because he can detect enemies and like tell us where he is. Where, where he is? Where they are. Oh my god. We've got a freaking while to go, we do. Where do You've arrived at Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning mm. it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that will come in handy. Don't be shy. Indeed. They deserve to be in better hands. Like our hands. <laughs> analysis complete. Oh my god. One thing I've noticed when I've been going through this is that all the people are like getting a lot better in like skills. Marker placed. So I've been like extracting more and more people than usual. Um let's go. Oh god, I was climbed under the U-Dog there. I don't know how observant these guys are, though. We'll have to find that out. Sneaking around. Oh god. I knew this would be a bad idea. To wear desert camo in somewhere like this. I should probably really just call in. Nice, he's tagged. He's been tagged too. They should soon fall over unconscious. And then we can go and find uh, some uh, equipment and everything like that. Yay, he's down to you. Cool. You have arrived at your destination. This is going to be the guy that we're going to interrogate. This is going to be a weird one. Might not have to interrogate. Get down from there. Wake up. Get out. Oh my god, he just zoomed into our hands there. Talk. What the hell? You can. The PF soldiers are speaking Afrikaans, an official language of the Republic of Oh, for God's sake. Forgot about that. Boss, we're gonna need someone with the Afrikaans interpreter skill to understand what they're saying. We'll look into it here, but for now, you'll just have to make do without one. Oh, for God's sake. I forgot that would be a thing. Right, what's he good in? Oh, he's good in there. That's good. Oh, I want him. And then get this guy over here as well. I oh, may as well nick this as well. This is a pretty good machine to sell for some money. God, I thought D Dog was going on with the balloon there. Yeah, all fuel resources. I really need them. D Dog, is there any more enemies around the place? How far have we got to go? Oh my god, there's a bloody age to go. There's not that many people around though, which is good. That's what I like to hear. Well, C. Because huh. the more enemies, the more likely we're going to get spotted, and the more shit I'm going to be into. Four enemies, five enemies, oh, I spoke to some six enemies. Analysis Crumbs. complete. Marker well, placed. He might be the guy that we want to be Marker the transportation. Marker placed. It looks like a postman. Package for Calzy. He looks a lot like a postman. Why do postmen even wear shorts and stuff? Not delivery people. Analysis complete. Seriously, need to get the marshland uh, stuff. What is it? Camouflage. That's the word. Need to get that. 
Oh god, both of them are coming over. For God's sake, why can't just one of them come? Oh, both of them are going to come instead. What's this? Rishi Bishi. There's some happy guy on the posters there as well. Come on. I think we've oh got. I think we might have made a mistake coming through this way, although we would have had to come this way anyway, actually. Jeez. Get up there will be easier after this, though. Analysis complete. No, you're rubbish. You're not so bad, but I don't want you. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Actually, no, if you do, then you can come over here, because I do want to capture you, actually. Come on, come over here. Come on. Oh, my God, another enemy. For God's sake. Come on, come over here. Come on. Look at my golden arm. You want the golden arm, don't you? Yes, yes you do. Come on. You want to see how pretty it is? You love the shiny item. Come on. Come on. Let's lure him over. Come on. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Just to get one guy over here. He better be the guy with the transportation skill, otherwise this is going to be annoying as hell. I may need to replay this mission off camera to find the guy with the transportation skill. Spit it out. Oh, why am I even bothering to do that? He can't even speak. That Picasso no, is the lingua franca for mercs in that area. If you're going to get any information from interrogations, you'll need an interpreter. All right, let's just keep going. Ooh, there he goes. Lovely. Oh yes, it's night time as well. Oh my god, child soldiers. Children there are abducted and trained to be soldiers. They're only taught to fight. And one day they grow up and teach the next generation the same way. With a gun in his hands, a kid is as dangerous as any adult. Analysis complete. Only they don't know a thing about right and wrong. Marker placed. Boss. Do not hurt any child soldiers. If you do, the mission is over. Oh crap. This mission just got a whole lot harder. Christ, I'm just gonna sell there. Sun will set shortly. Christ. I had to put child soldiers in it, did you? Just didn't you haven't just had to do that, didn't you, Kojima? Pull on my emotional strings. God damn it. Well, at least he's... I actually, I actually commend him for that, putting them in. Because that's what real life was like in this time. Child soldiers were a thing. And, you know, it just happened. And this is quite a history, historical game as well, because it is based around a few true events that happened, but some mostly aren't. I mean, I guess Solid 3, there were some true events in that that actually happened in that game, believe it or not. If you know which ones, do comment below and I'll give you 10 points for that. I don't know what the points can come to, but... Yeah, we'll figure something out. Right, let's just get over there, because... Oh god, is this a... Is there no one here, really? Really? No one's here? Oh, do I hear a musical instrument? Yeah, I heard some music. How about zombies, hey? And a lot of stuff to... That's good. What's in this one? Hey, more items. Love in Africa so far. There was a car there as well, which you can take. Oh, that's a nice little car. Reminds of Jurassic Park a bit. Oh, 
Do, 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 do. You've made it past the village. Continue heading for the oil facility. It's located it's to Africa. To Africa. This car's slower than the ones in Afghanistan. Oh, hello, sheep. Goat, whatever the hell you want. I mean, I'm gonna bother with the thing is, we can't speak Afrikaans. It's a bit hard to find this transportation specialist that I want. Singer drills oil wells wherever they can throughout that region. When the oil dries up, they abandon the facility. Then it's only a matter of time before the aging equipment starts leaking crude. That means United's takeover is the perfect cover for Singer. Now they can blame the spill on a bunch of oil thieves. However you look at it, Singer's far from squeaky clean. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, the transportation R&D guy, we might have got him already. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So I'll just get in there. Shit kicks off, shit kicks off. And it's just gonna happen. No, I didn't even see that. Oh my god! Oh my god, what the hell's up with this car? This is having a massive attack on its own. Oh my god. Wow. That's it. It's not what you want to see before you go into a place, is it? Oh god, this place is bloody huge. To stop the leak, you need to shut down the oil transfer pump and destroy the oily water separator tank. The details are on your iDroid. Is that the official term for it? An oily water separator tank. And people who work at us like, we must destroy the oily water separator tank. All right, how the hell do we get in? Uh, some stairs there, but there's no ladders. Well, uh, maybe. Detected. No, I can't get in there. Been Maybe in this one instead? Oh ho! Hello! Just like Metal Gear Solid 1. Alright. Glad we've got D-Dog on here with us. Because we want to know exactly where our enemies are as well. Let's get out of here. Quickly now, Snake. Come on. The R&D guy might be here that we want. Not too sure. More of them, more of them, of course. More of them! Oh god, there's a sniper dude. Analysis complete. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Crap. That's one of the targets. The oily water separator tank. Destroy it. Just remember, the tank is highly pressurized. It'll explode violently when damaged. Be careful. I think we want to go for that one up there first. Because I don't want any explosions happening yet. Before I'm out of that place. Yes, I did just jump up some stairs. the most enemies I've ever had to deal with. Actually, can we destroy some of these lights? Yes, we can. It's okay, we're good. We're good. He saw me through the grate. Damn it. Well, if he comes over here, he comes over here, and we'll just deal with him. Oh god, there's a guy there. Analysis complete. I think we're in the clear. Not with you, though. You're dead anyway. 
I really need to stop saying they're dead, they're not. Tranquilized. I'll try to tranquilize enemies before I do anything else to them. There's a guy coming. Pick up the fucking body! What are you doing, Snake? Come on! Bloody hell, this is too close for comfort. Great. Are you coming around this way? What the hell? <laughs> okay, that was a thing. Can we shoot this light out? Yes, we can. Get in. What is this guy like? Analysis complete. Oh, not that great. Let's continue. Do we go this way. This is where we go to destroy this one. Bloody sniper, Jesus. I really don't want that out there. Yup. Door down and out. And there's no light. We're just gonna pick lock this. Do something to some equipment. There's the transfer pump control room. The emergency stop button is probably inside it. Again. Oh god, what have I done? Uh. What have I done? What the hell? Oh my god. Uh. Oh god. Everyone our secrets, eh? Not anymore. I've had enough of it. I've had enough of this whole bloody place. Right. Oh god, they're all coming over here now. Which is actually good. Because then we can just sneak through there. Easily. Without anyone having prison with our equipment. Oh, what a shot. Got him. Not one shot, but you know. I don't know if it'll crap. Whoa. That was a close one. This way through. Okay. Nope. It's a dumpster though. Oh god, who's that? No, I shot you, come on. There we go. I don't care about this, I just want to not be seen going through here. Shit. Oh, he's going to fall off the ladder, isn't he? Oh shit, our suppressor's gone. Seek you see from now on, lads. Can we get up that way? This way. There's no one near here anyway, so we're just going to get in there, plant some C4, slap it on that big ass tank, and then get out of here, blow it up, and boom, we're done. 
just gonna escape the hot zone then. Destroy that separator tank. You'll need to use explosives. Got any C4? Alright, you oh god, that was too much stuff. You don't be setting off until you're at a safe distance. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. Shit. What a shot, though. You can't blame me. What a shot that was. I just want to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. difficult this is. Caution. Rain approaching. Oh, rain. That's a new thing. Oh my god, would you just piss off everyone? Right, fuck it, we're getting out of here. Go, run! There we go. Mission done, or is it a cutscene? Because I was at a safe distance. Oh shit, the walkers. Alright, D-Dog, let's get out of here. That's my car, is that my car over there? Yes it is. Is it? Yes it is. Couldn't make out because it was a camouflage amongst the rain. Alright, D-Dog, get in. Where's the exit? Oh, there we go. Let's get out of here. Oh no! <laughs> this guy's a lot harder to control than the other one. <laughs> Yeehaw! Out of here. Get out of here and have a successful mission accomplished. Oh, I'll go for the oil and water. Get in. Get in, D Dog and Snake. Great team. We, got the, we can capture the enemy view. Development well. project has been added. Mm. Oh Christ! A lot of stuff. Are you done? Jeez. Yes. Mission complete, boss. That was exceptional. <laughs> Woo! Hey, get in. Maybe we did it a bit faster. That would have been better. But hey, can't blame me. That was a good mission. That one. I like that. To the next one. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They were behind what happened. They hired the PF, not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending they were the victims. One other thing, Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. The company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs, and get this, the fund itself no longer exists either. It's a shell corporation, meaning someone is just using Saner's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing over there? Hmm. My guess. My guess is that it was a testing facility for that Skulls gas thing. 
but I'm not sure. If it is that, then I freaking called it. What do you think it is? Comment below. See if you know what it is that caused those strange bodies to have some kind of like weird alien like thing on their lungs. Pink keen after masters is difficult market. Oh. <gasps> we can now develop the walker for ourselves. Get in. Hey! Snake! I've customized a walker gear just for you. It features a silent running system, great for infiltration missions, and you can also summon it to your location. I've taken the liberty of calling it the D-Walker. It's armed with a suppressed tranquilizer gun. If you want to add mm. other weaponry or upgrade the chassis, give the order from your iDroid. Hmm, interesting. 